the super in Arizona. I know Arizona comes across as the perfect place to live. All the videos are all pretty and show how beautiful. And as nice as it is, there are still cons to living here. This video, guys, I'm going to cover five cons. These cons may sway your opinion of Arizona. This is your first time on my channel. This channel, I do everything Arizona, all things Arizona. If that's something that you could rock with, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so that you get notified every time I drop a new video. If you like this video, guys, and I am certain that you're gonna like this video, hit that thumbs up. Let's get this video to 1,500 likes. And if you don't like the video, then hit the thumbs down. You suck. Comment, tell me what you think of this video. And if you really like this video, make sure you share the video. Enough of the small talk. Today, we're gonna talk about the five cons to living in Arizona. Number one, the heat. In the summer times, guys, the temperatures can reach upwards of literally 118, 19, 20, 120 degrees. It is 91,000 damn degrees. I don't know if you guys ever felt 120 degrees, but it's hot. It's hot. It's real hot. It isn't just a little bit hot. 120 degrees is real hot. It's one thing to hear about it. It's another to experience it. This is a desert. Just like the deserts that you see on National Geographic that you read about in school, this is an actual desert. And I know it doesn't look like it because you see swimming pools and you see nice buildings and nice houses and cars and people, but the landscape has been altered. We're really in a desert. Right now we're having great weather. This is January, the end of January, and uh, today it's like 60 degrees. And we're all sharing our Facebook pics and Instagram photos because we're living it up. But we're rolling into February, March, April, it's the 90s. May, June, you're in the hundreds. June, July, August. We're talking about that 115. September, you get back down to the hundreds. October, it cools off again. The hardcore truth. October, November, December, January, February. We only have five good months here in Arizona. The rest is hot. Which leads into number two, the vehicle maintenance. Out here, guys, our vehicles take massive punishment. Your car is outside in 150, 120 degree heat. If it's 120, 115 degrees outside, how much is that temperature underneath the hood? that wears and tears on your vehicle to no end. First off, when you come here, an absolute must, you're gonna need tent, window tent on your window. It helps cool things down. If you don't have that tent and your car is sitting in the sun, you will have cracks and splits in your dashboard, leather seats, your center console, wherever there's not fabric will split. In addition to that, you're going to go through at least one battery, if not every year, every other year. Just put that in your budget. The sun is gonna fry your battery. You're gonna need a battery every one or two years. Your tires rolling on that pavement, on that asphalt, going and coming, going and coming. You're gonna run through tires like you would not believe. It's very common that on the highway, you see cars pulled over all the time on the side of the road with blowouts. Your belts and hoses are constantly succumbing to the heat. They're constantly cracking. Those are things that, that you don't hear about. In addition to that, windshield replacement. Oh my God, it is humongous. There are windshield replacement companies that are out here competing for your business because for some odd reason, your windshield will get cracked. Your vehicle maintenance actually leads me into number three, the commute. One thing that my videos fail 
to even begin to give you an idea is how vast of an area that we're in. This place is humongous. It's huge. You have Phoenix, but you also have all of the surrounding suburbs. So what you have to keep in mind, I'm talking about easy guys. Your commutes can be 60 minutes. And we're talking about without traffic, you're just driving. Number four, critters. Creepy crawlies. Arizona is filled with creepy crawlies. If you're thinking about coming here and you got a problem with creepy crawlies, this may not be the place for you. Let me tell you what we have for certain. You're going to see this. We have scorpions, bark scorpions. I don't know if you guys have seen the video that I made in my home where I was hunting the scorpions at, at will. I can go out, have a black light, go out, and grab a scorpion. And the bark scorpion is a poisonous scorpion. And guess where they like to hide, guys? They like to hide in your shoes. Um, they can hide in your bed under the covers. I mean, these things are everywhere. And if you shall engage one of these things, they're going to sting you and it's going to hurt. We have snakes. You heard of the Arizona Diamondback, the Rattlers. We do have those. Now, I have never seen a snake. I have seen one snake in a mountain one time, but there are snakes. We have lizards, like little gecko type lizards. They're everywhere. You're walking down the sidewalk, these lizards in the summertime, they're just darting all across the sidewalk. Every now and then, they get inside and you have to deal with an actual lizard in your home. We have water bugs. They look like roaches, but they're way bigger than roaches. They're like, like that big. Some places have more than others, but every place has giant water bugs. Roaches, giant ones. Wildlife, there's coyotes running around left and right. Like it's nothing to see a, a coyote. I was recently shooting a video on Camelback Mountain and I seen, uh, I don't know if it was a bobcat. It was kind of like a baby one, but kind of like about, you know, this big or something like that. And bobcat mountain lions, they're out here. There have been mountain lion attacks out here. We have black bears up north. We have javelinas. Javelinas are in the burbs. Those are wild pigs. And I've heard they're pretty ornery. I heard they're pretty mean. Something that you will deal with is you will deal with our creepy crawlies, wildlife. Last but definitely not least, number five. This one, guys, I'm sad to say, but it's a reality. I share these things with you so you'll know what to expect, so you'll know the truth about Arizona. Guys, Arizona has a drug problem. What I have to watch out for over here? Drugs. What kind? Everything. Everything. Drugs are common amongst our youth. We see younger and younger and younger children here doing some tough drugs, some hardcore drugs. And this isn't nothing that just started. I've been here for over 20 years and the entire 20 years I've heard about it. I feel obligated to let you know if you come here for a fresh start. I've seen personally with my own eyes, people coming here out of rehabilitation, rehabbing, coming out here fresh start and getting on harder drugs than they were previously. Guys, that's it. I'm just gonna share with you five. Get in those comments. Tell me what you think. If you lasted this long, you must like the video. Hit that thumbs up button. Also guys, if you like this video a lot, make sure that you share this video. If you're watching my videos and you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell so that every time I drop a video, you get notified. So once again, this is your man, Big Super. Thanks for stopping by my channel over now. 